los caminos por los caminos sedientos de luz levantándose antes que el sol hacia los campos que lejos están muy temprano se va el viñador no se detiene en su caminar no le asusta la sed ni el calor hay una viña que quiere cuidar, una viña que es todo su amor. Dios es tu amigo, el viñador, el que te cuida de sol a sol. Dios es tu amigo, el viñador, el que te pide frutos de amor. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. In the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your, and with your spirit. spirit. Today we remember St. Cyril of Jerusalem, Bishop and Doctor of the Church. St. Cyril is a fourth century priest, bishop, and also a doctor of the Church. He began this thing called catechesis. Catechesis is actually a Greek word that just means the teaching. But he sat down and he looked at the formulation of what do we believe in the Church? You know, what is the Church all about? For some of us, when we look at the church, we look at, uh, we know that to have an authentic relation, you have to have something called a cult, what we call liturgy, and then you have to have canon, we call it the rules of the church. We also have something else, and that's commitment. And what we look at, the part of the commitment thing is the catechesis. You know, what do we do? Why, why do we do these things? You know, what are the seven sacraments? What do they have to do with our life? And Cyril sat down and he wrote all these things out. In fact, his favorite book is, or his famous book is, called Catechesis. Amen? Amen. My brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty, Almighty God, God and to, to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done, what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who through the Bishop St. Cyril of Jerusalem led your church in a wonderful way to a deeper sense of the mysteries of salvation, grant us through his intercession that we may so acknowledge your Son as to have life ever more abundantly. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Exodus. The Lord said to Moses, go down at once to your people whom you brought out of the land of Egypt, for they have become depraved. They have soon turned aside from the way I pointed out to them, making for themselves a molten calf and worshiping it, sacrificing it and, and crying out, this is your God, O Israel, who brought you out of the land of Egypt. The Lord said to Moses, 
I see how stiff-necked this people eat, is. Let me alone then, that my wrath may blaze up against them to consume them. Then I will make of you a great nation. But Moses implored the Lord his God, saying, Why, O Lord, should your wrath blaze up against your own people, whom you brought out of the land of Egypt, with such great power and with such strong a hand? Why should the Egyptians say, with evil intent, he brought them out, that he might kill them in the mountains? and exterminate them from the face of the earth. Let your blazing wrath die down. Relent in punishing your people. Remember your servants, Abraham, Isaac, and Israel, and how you soared to them by your own self, saying, I will make your descendants as numerous as the stars in the sky and all this land that I promised. I will give your descendants as their perpetual heritage. So the Lord relented in the punishment he had threatened to inflict on his people. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Remember, O Lord, as you favor your people. Remember us, O Lord, as you favor your people. Our fathers made a calf in Oreb and adorned a molten image. They exchanged their glory for the image of a grass-eating bullock. Remember, Remember us, us, O Lord, Lord as, as you favor your, your people. They forgot the God who had saved them, who had done great deeds in Egypt, wondrous deeds in the land of Ham, terrible things at the Red Sea. Remember, Remember us, us, O Lord, Lord as, as you favor your people. people. Then he spoke of exterminating them, but Moses, his chosen one, withstood him in the breach to turn back his destructive wrath. Remember, Remember us, O Lord, Lord as, as you favor, favor your people. people. Glory and praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Glory and praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, so that everyone who believes in him might have eternal life. Glory and praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to the Jews, If I testify on my own behalf, my testimony is not true. But there is another who testifies on my behalf. And I know that the testimony he gives on my behalf is true. You sent emissaries to John, and he testified to the truth. I do not accept human testimony, but I say this so that you may be saved. He was a burning and shining lamp, and for a while you were content to rejoice in his light. But I have testimony greater than John's, the work that the Father gave to me to accomplish. These works that I perform testify on my behalf that the Father has sent me. Moreover, the Father who sent me has testified on my behalf. But if you've never heard his voice nor seen his form, then you do not have his word remaining in you because you do not believe in the one whom, whom he sent. You search the scriptures because you think that you have eternal life through them even they, even they testify on my behalf. But if you do not want to come to me and to have life, I do not accept you in praise. Moreover, I know that you do not have the love of God in you. I came in the name of, the fa of my Father, but you did not accept me. If another comes in his name, you will accept him. 
but how can you believe when you accept the praise of one another and do not seek the praise that comes from only God? Do you think that I will accuse you before the Father? The one who will accuse you is Moses, in whom you have placed your hope. For if you had believed Moses, you would have believed me, because he wrote about me. But you do not believe his writings. How will you believe my words? The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. In today's first reading, we hear about the people that uh, God brought out of slavery, the people that he saved from slavery, have become depraved. They turned away, they soon turned aside from the way that God pointed out to them, and they started making for themselves idols, false gods. They started worshiping something else. And the consequence of that was going to be destruction or punishment. Some kind of punishment was going to come upon them. Some kind of calamity was going to come upon them. And Moses stands, as the psalm says, stands in the breach and intercedes for the people, prays for the people, asks for mercy from God and God offers mercy. In our time today, in our day and time, there are many who are not following the way that God has pointed out. Who is the way? And Jesus is the way. He says, I am the way and the truth and the life. And no one comes to the Father except through me. There are many who have chosen to reject Jesus, the true God, the true God, the true man. They have chosen to not follow Jesus. There are many who have turned to false gods, other gods, as if there are other gods. They have turned to false gods, money, power, sex, pleasure. There are many who have turned to nothing, but when you turn to nothing, you really turn to yourself. You make yourself the God. The man in the mirror becomes the God for you. In any case, they have turned their back on the true God, not following Jesus. And like the people in the first reading, they have put themselves in grave danger. Grave danger. Because when you're not with God, you're with the other one. When you're not with the Lord, when you're not united to the Lord, you're with the enemy. God says, you're either with me or you're against me. There's no middle ground. We have to either be with the Lord or we're not with the Lord. And like the people in the first reading, those who choose to be away from the Lord are in grave danger of punishment, destruction, calamity. But just like in the first reading, there is an opportunity to ask for mercy. Like Moses, we are all called to ask for mercy. And one of the beautiful ways that we can ask for mercy is by praying the chaplet of the divine mercy. The chaplet of the divine mercy is a beautiful prayer that is prayed on ordinary rosary beads. If you don't know about the Chaplet of the Divine Mercy, I encourage you to look this prayer up. The divinemercy.org is a good website for you to go and learn more about this prayer, the divinemercy.org. And look into this prayer is a prayer where we ask for mercy. Have mercy on us and on the whole world is part of the prayer. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. This is a prayer that many of you pray, many of you know, but there are many who don't. 
There are many who don't know about this prayer. There are many who don't pray the prayer. And it's an important prayer where we stand as uh, Moses before the Lord asking for mercy upon the people for ourselves as well. Because if a calamity should come upon the world, it's going to come upon everyone, not just the ones who are not with the Lord. And so we pray. This beautiful prayer is a prayer that's traditionally and ideally prayed at 3 o'clock in the afternoon, 3 p.m., but it can be prayed at any time. And some people pray it at multiple times a day. Some people pray it at night. Some people pray it um, in the morning, and some people pray it at 3 p.m. Why do we pray it at 3 p.m.? Because that is the hour that uh, Jesus died on the cross. And so we remember that time, we honor that mercy, and we, uh, we pray in the prayer, for the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Why do we pray at three? Because it's always three o'clock somewhere in the world. There's always a three o'clock hour somewhere in the world. And if everybody in the world decides to pray at three o'clock in their own time zone, then that prayer is going to be prayed 24 hours a day throughout the world, asking for mercy upon us and upon the whole world. Therefore, today, I encourage you to reread the first reading, Exodus chapter 32. Maybe you can read what comes before, what comes after as well. And have that to be some motivation for you to pray the chaplet of the divine mercy, asking the Lord to have mercy on us and on the whole world. Praise be Jesus and Mary and Joseph now and forever. Amen. Amen. We turn now to our Father in heaven with our prayers and our petitions. For the church and her ministers, that like Moses, they may be people pleasing to God and capable by their prayer of turning the divine anger into mercy. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayers. Prayer. For peace, especially in the lands made holy by the patriarchs, the prophets, and the saving work of Jesus, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our, our prayers. prayers. That may be as John the Baptist, with the lamps of our faith and love burning and shining as testimony to the wor world, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayers. prayers. Rob, ask for our prayers in a time of illness and distress, that through this holy sacrifice, God may again do great deeds and wonders, works of healing and grace for them. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayers. prayers. For the faithful departed who believe in the one whom God has sent to save us, that they may now hear the voice and see the form of the Father in the heavenly places. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. The intentions for today's Mass for the repose of the soul of Selida Colleen, for the repose of the soul of Ruth Gunnan, and for all those who participate in the ministry of the Golden Seniors, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. <coughs> Tomorrow is the uh, Feast of St. Joseph, and uh, we ask, uh, we begin, uh, we also pray for all those who are consecrating themselves to St. Joseph. Tomorrow is a, a day of consecration for them, and so we pray for them as well. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayers. We invoke your mercy and humble prayer, prayer, O Lord, that you may cause us, your servants, corrected by penance and schooled by good works, to persevere sincerely in your commands and come safely to the Paschal festivities through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. With humble spirit and contrite heart. Day, be pleasing to you, Lord God. Wash me, O Lord, from my iniquity and cleanse me from my sin. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that what we offer in sacrifice may cleanse us in our frailty from every evil and always grant us your protection. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. And let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for you will that our self-denial should give you thanks, humble our sinful pride and contribute to the feeding of the poor, and so help us imitate you in your kindness. And so we glorify you with countless angels, as with one voice of praise we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit, 
Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Gustavo, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not, not worthy that you should enter under, under my, roof, my roof, but, but only, only say, say the, the word, word and, my and my soul, soul shall, be, shall healed. be healed. May the body of Christ keep me safe for eternal life. May the blood of Christ keep me safe for eternal life.
an act of spiritual communion. <clears throat> My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Hoy perdóname, hoy por siempre, sin mirar la mentira, lo vacío de nuestras vidas, nuestra falta de amor y caridad. Hoy perdóname, hoy por siempre, aun sabiendo que había oído, que de ti siempre había oído, hoy regreso arrepentido, vuelvo a ti, vuelvo a ti. Gracias quiero darte por amarme, gracias quiero darte yo a ti, Señor. Hoy soy feliz porque te conocí, gracias por amarme a mí también. Yo quiero ser, yo quiero ser, Señor amado, como el barro en manos del alfarero. Toma mi vida, toma mi vida, hazla de nuevo. Yo quiero ser. Yo quiero ser un vaso nuevo. Te, te conocí y te amé. Te pedí perdón y me escuchaste. Si te ofendí, perdóname, Señor, pues te amo y nunca te olvidaré. Yo quiero ser, yo quiero ser, Señor amado, como el barro en manos del alfarero. Toma mi vida, toma mi vida, hazla de nuevo. Yo quiero ser, yo quiero ser un vaso nuevo.
Let us pray. Let us pray. Let us pray. May the sacrament we have received purify us, we pray, O Lord, and grant your servants freedom from all blame, that those bound by a guilty conscience may glorify in the fullness of heavenly, heavenly remedy. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Tomorrow is the Feast of uh, Solemnity of St. Joseph, March 19th. We will have two Masses tomorrow. There is a change in schedule. The morning Mass will be celebrated by Father Mike, and then I will be celebrating the 7 p.m. Mass. So we will have two Masses tomorrow, 8.30 a.m., with Father Mike here in the church, of course, and then at 7 p.m. Uh, again here in the church, preceded by a 6.30 rosary. So if you can please inform others about these uh, Masses so that people can come and celebrate together. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. O God, protector of all who hope in you, bless your people, keep them safe, defend them, prepare them, that freed from sin and safe from the enemy, they may persevere always in your love through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit come upon you and remain with you forever. Amen. Go in peace, our Mass is ended. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. Saint, Saint Michael, Michael the Archangel, defend, defend us in the day of battle. battle. Be, be our, our protection, protection against, against the wickedness and snares of the devil. devil. May, may God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And, and do thou, Prince, Prince of the heavenly Lord, host, by the power of God, Cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl through the world, seeking the ruins of souls. Amen. Tu has venido a la orilla, no has buscado ni a sabios ni a ricos, tan solo quieres que yo te siga. Señor, me has mirado a los ojos, sonriendo, has dicho mi nombre, en la arena he dejado mi barca, junto a ti buscaré otro mar. Tú sabes bien lo que tengo, en mi barca no hay oro ni espada, tan solo redes y mi trabajo. Señor, me has mirado a los ojos, Sonriendo, has dicho mi nombre, en la arena he dejado mi barca, junto a ti buscaré otro mar, junto a ti buscaré otro mar.